Hello and welcome to episode 12, which is where we learn about how to create a random number. Now, it's really, really useful when you're programming to be able to create a random number. Let's say you're building a program where you were testing somebody on their times table. If you can get your computer to generate random numbers, you can just generate endless questions rather than having to write them all yourself and the person can have as much practice as they need. So let's have a look about how we do this. So in this very simple program we're setting the variable here as number and we're telling it that it's 5 and then we're going to print the variable number. So when we run that it's obviously going to put 5 on the screen as you can see it did. So that's one way of getting numbers in there but let's say we wanted a random number. So the command is math dot get now it says degrees, get radians, and it's get random. And the number we put in the brackets is the biggest number that we'd be happy to get back. So that'll get me a number between 1 and 10. So when I run this program, there we go, we got a 4. And if I run it again, there you go, we get an 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this within an endless loop, and you will see... So I'm going to put an anchor at the start, which you'll remember from our endless loop lesson, and then I'm going to go to the end and say, go to start. Now you might be wondering why I've got those blank lines in there, and the reason is just to make my code easier to read. It actually doesn't slow the program down at all, um, and it doesn't make it run any differently, it just makes it easier for a human to read it. So here we go, I'm going to run this, and it's going to create me endless random numbers. Now they're actually off screen there, so let me drag them in. Now they're going by too fast to see which is a bit of a problem. Um, so, here is your time to code. So here is a task for you. I want you to create a program that creates three random numbers between 1 and 100. Now there's a number of ways you can do this. You could use a small loop, or you could just write the code three times. And then I want you to push show on the screen what those three random numbers are. So just to repeat again, your time to code is you're going to write a program to create three random numbers and then you're going to put those random numbers on the screen. I'll create a part B if you need it, but that's how you create random numbers.